Hey guys, so the Yankees have assigned four more players to minor league camp. We're going to go over who the heck they are in a little bit. We're also going to go over who's still in camp and what that might mean. But before we do any of that, for whatever reason, if you guys aren't subscribed, but you love the Yankees and you want to be kept up to date with the latest in Yankees news, rumors, speculation, or just plain old Yankees discussion, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, and thank you for those who are subscribed, who do comment, who do, who does hit that like button, and that the dislike button, whatever. Thank you. Your support means a lot, and thank you guys. So, who did the Yankees, first off, who did the Yankees assign to minor league camp? We're going to start off with Wilmer Defoe. He went 6 for 32 this spring with 188 batting average, one home run, and a 601 OPS. Then they also assigned Rodolfo Duran to minor league camp. He's a catcher. He went four for 25 with a 160 batting average and a 382 OPS. He had an absolutely atrocious spring, and I hope he could pick it up a bit down there in the minor leagues. Then you got Mr. Tyler Danish and five and two thirds innings pitched. His ERA was 27.00. I, I-, I liked Danish. Not anymore, though. 27 ERA. Woof. Not very good. But then you have James Norwood, who they assigned to minor league camp. He had a 2.70 ERA in, in 10 innings pitched and 14 strikeouts. Very good spring for Mr. Norwood. And you still have a guy like Jimmy Cordero still in camp. He has a four ERA in camp so far in nine innings pitched, nine strikeouts. So Norwood has outperformed Cordero, but Cordero is on the 40-man roster, so that's why there's a little leeway there for him. But Norwood, you can make a case that he's had a better spring than Mr. Cordero. You also have a guy like Willie Calhoun still in camp, who's had a very good spring. Rafael Ortega, not so much. He's still there. And you also have, guess who? Anthony Volpe. Volpe hasn't been assigned to minor league camp yet. And I'm not saying he will be. I'm not saying he should. He should be on that opening day roster. He's earned the starting shortstop job. He's outperformed Peraza. He has. But the Yankees, you could say that their hands are tied. Because how can you have Glaber Torres, Oswald Peraza, Anthony Volpe, Josh Donaldson, DJ LeMayhew? You can even throw in Isaiah kind of Falefa. How can you have all these guys in the roster at the same time without at least one of them being moved? And IKF, honestly, that doesn't really matter. He's really not taking up a starting spot. So when it comes down to either having Praza or Volpe, unless Torres is moved before opening day, within the next three to four days, unless Torres is moved, Praza or Volpe will start the year down there in AAA. It'll be interesting. I really like both players. I love Peraza. I love Volpe. Listen, obviously, I would love to move Josh Donaldson. That huge money, older player. I would love, love the Yankees to try and trade him. But he's older and he's a lot of money. A lot of teams don't find that appealing. And now all of a sudden, for whatever reason, he changed his batting stance a little bit. He modified it. He's woken up. Donnie's woken up, but hopefully that, that, that translates and that, and that follows him into the season. I'm crossing my fingers. Not like that does anything, but I'm really hoping and praying that Donaldson does have a big year, especially if he's on our team. Or maybe since he's having a much better spring, he has almost 1,000 OPS, by the way. Maybe it'll be easier to move him. Who the heck knows? But anyway, listen, Praza or Volpe, It'll be interesting to see who the Yankees pick now. If they, if they can move Torres before opening day, then it makes their decision that much easier. And most likely, both of them will be on the opening day roster. So we shall see what the heck happens. But guys, that about wraps this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. I'm still a little, a little under the weather, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting better. I don't know. We'll see. But all right, guys, listen. Thank you so much for watching. This is Joan until next time, signing out.